As Jesus concludes the Sermon on the Mount, he begins to use some illustrations to help us understand things. One of the things he warns about are false prophets. He says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. What an incredible image. There's no way you can read that without this image being formed in your mind. On the outside, they look like a sheep. They hang out with the sheep. They, they infiltrate. And once they're in, then it turns out that they are exactly the opposite. They are a predator. The word ravening means ferocious and hungry. And they begin to devour the sheep. He says, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Makes perfect sense. You know, lots and lots of of trees and plants. You may not know exactly what it is until you see it put on its fruit. Once you see the fruit, you say, oh, okay, this is this particular kind of a tree. But one thing that doesn't happen is a tree doesn't bear some different kind of fruit. You don't walk outside in the same tree, have grapes on it and have bananas on it and have jackfruit on the thing. That just doesn't happen. What happens is, is that it identifies itself eventually. You may not be able to see and know up front, but you give it the right season and it's going to identify itself by the fruit of it. And that's what Jesus says. He says, we'll be able to tell who's speaking the truth and who's living the truth by the fruit of their life, by the outcome of their life. He says, even so, Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. This is so important, and we've all been duped by this. Uh, we've, we've listened to a particular uh, prophet or teacher, somebody who's a Bible teacher, and You know, we've kind of got to where, gosh, I like what this guy's saying, and we go along for a while. And then all of a sudden, we read a headline one day about something that has happened. And it usually involves sex or money. Most of the time, those two things uh, come out into the headlines, and we realize, oh no, look what was actually going on down in the 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 heart of this particular person well jesus warns us here and and it's so important and it's a it's not only a warning for for who we listen to but it's also a warning for our own self for our own heart second corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 says examine yourselves whether you be in the faith prove your own selves know you not your own selves how that jesus christ is in you except you be reprobates you know Truly to be a Christian means that I trust Jesus Christ and his spirit has come to live in me. It doesn't mean that I can't sin. It doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. What it means is, is that he has given me his life. Uh, he, I, am, I am forgiven and I have this new life living in me. And if I'm going to follow him, uh, I've got to follow his leadership in my life from that point in time on. And that is brings change. And especially for those who are in positions of teaching within the church, i.e. a prophet like Jesus says here. He says these people should, they're going to be held to a higher standard. Not many of you should be masters because you're going to be held to a higher standard, James tells us. And so as we consider what Jesus is warning us about here, it's important that our walk line up with our talk. And that's the whole point. And uh, we need to to make sure that we be careful because there are some people who are infiltrators and they are intentionally acting a certain way to infiltrate the church so that they can bring in false teaching and heresy and lead people astray. They are ravening wolves and Jesus is warning us of that. I just want to encourage you this morning. I, I pray that, that you know, the best way to understand the truth is to know the truth, and it'll set you free. And so get into the Word of God, study the Bible, and test everything. God bless you. Have a great day.